What's up, what's up, what's up? So, a little bit something different today. Channel is LOS, so it stands for a lot of shit. So here we go. I got a one piece to an intake manifold. It's an RBV intake manifold. Um, this is off of a K24 Accord. I plan on putting it on a base model, um, K20A3 RSX, uh, just in case. If you don't know, the all the RSXs come with Type S oil pumps and 50 degree VTC gears. Base model, Type S, it doesn't matter, they both come with the same parts. Minus the A3 base model has tiny rods, tiny crappy rods. Um, and of course the VTEC difference in the head. It's the economy VTEC motor, that's, that's, that's a known. But long story short, I'm gonna just get a little bit of horsepower out of it and be looking for something different in the meantime. Um, I'm probably gonna stay K20 with it just because I don't want to have to deal with the clearance issues, hood clearance issues and all that. I'm not make, looking to make big horsepower out of it. Uh, I'm just trying to make a decent daily driver and I plan on boosting it probably, I don't know, 8, 10 PSI. Um, this video is just gonna be a small little clip of, of what you can do just to pick up that extra little bit on the all-motor setup see if we can see if we can give you all a little bit better look here again this is just smooth out I didn't take too much off. Just enough. Knock down all the high spots. If you look real close, you can see where the line on the gasket is. So you can tell. I didn't take a whole lot off. I didn't take a whole lot off the outside or anything. It's simply just knocking down those casting lines. As you can see up here, this is is cut up. All right, so this intake manifold originally has the intake air assist valve made into the intake manifold. Now the RSX does not have it made into the intake manifold. It's a completely separate piece on the engine. So, excuse me, on the motor. It's a completely separate piece on the motor. So, in order to make this K24 intake manifold work, I had to chop it up. So pretty much, I chopped up the water neck. Cut it off. Because two reasons. One, I don't need it on this intake manifold. Two, if I tried to use it, I don't even know if it would bolt up. I haven't, didn't even try it. Um, but the upper radiator hose connects to the block on the RSX where that valve goes now this would do away with that upper radiator hose location um, so the easiest way to do that is to cut it off the intake manifold so this is what it looks like cut I'm not done I'm gonna definitely clean it up um, I plan on getting rid of all of this smoothing it out flush and I really want to grind away all of this and make it smooth um, I've already got actually let me 
Give me one second, let me set you down and I'll turn it over so you can see the plugs that I put in it. Okay, so right here, and there's another spot under this cover that I've got a plug in it, and this is what it is. Um, I had these left over from doing EGR port cleanouts on a Prelude. Um, they've got little ports that you have to drill out. It looks like a uh, shit. Looks like an expansion plug almost. Um, and then you put these back in there and this one I did had already had the job done once the plugs had been knocked in there so I had to drill a hole in these put a screw in it so I could get them out and then put fresh plugs back in it and what I did is I put Honda Bond all the way around the outside cleaned up both surfaces put Honda Bond all the way around the outside and around the screw and then I tapped it in there pretty deep and I tightened the screw down pretty good and I just put a rubber cap over to make it look good and it, this is obviously not a long-term intake manifold but I got this intake manifold for free um, so I'm gonna make it work and that's what I've got so far I've already done these a little bit Let's see I just wanted to test that bit out and I, I was just kind of testing it out over here and it looks like it's gonna do pretty good throttle body spot looks really good now I mean it's it's opened up just a little bit and smoothed out I'm gonna go over it with the sandpaper and take this thing back to work and put it back in the parts washer and see can I get some more of this junk out of it it's gonna be a little while before I put it on I got to get a tune and there's just a, a lot of other things got to be done um, so I guess that's it for now and uh, next time I get ready to do something on the whatever project I happen to be working on, because working on, because I do a lot of shit. It's the name of the channel. So, till then, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.